Now you get to draw the people who are going on this road trip with you. Your double portrait is going to be awesome. Hopefully you have already drawn your template for your car and the seats that your people will be sitting on. Next, I'm going to show you a technique to draw portraits that will make your life so much easier. This technique is when you take a picture, you cover the back of the picture with graphite. So I'm using the side of my pencil to color the backs of my pictures that I want to use for this artwork. I want to make sure that I cover it really well and don't leave any spaces. Notice how I also change the direction of the way I'm coloring to make sure to fill in all of the space. Next I'll cut out the extra parts of the paper so I can tape it onto the template that I created already. See it's me driving with Taylor Swift. I'll use a small piece of tape to tape these two things down so that they stay in one spot. Then I'll hold down my picture with one hand and trace all of the lines using a pen. Tracing and pressing hard when I trace is going to transfer the pencil from the back of my picture to the paper that my car is on. You need to go slowly and carefully to get the details of your face. Now I know that our pictures sometimes aren't the best quality so it's hard to see some things. If some of the details are hard to see, you don't have to trace them and we can draw them in later. I'm going to my second portrait and again, really taking my time to trace all the really important parts, pressing hard and keeping my paper still. Some important traits of Taylor Swift are her cat eyes and her hair that she's going to be holding with her hand and I want to make sure that I get all those shapes done really well. So go slowly and carefully. Once you have taken both portraits off, you'll notice that you'll still have to finish drawing some things. I'm going to be drawing seat belts over the front of both of us and then some of my hair didn't come through so I needed to finish that. I also needed to finish drawing our seats and I'm looking at my pictures and my template to kind of help me finish drawing. I didn't get all the details in my hands and my eyes so I need to do that as well. You will have to draw one set of hands over the steering wheel so make sure to take a look at how to do that too. Once you like everything about the portraits, you can go over the lines with a skinny Sharpie. If there's something that you traced with pencil that you didn't like, you don't have to go over it with Sharpie, just erase it. So here I'm going over my lines. I'm also adding in details with my hair and my eyes that I didn't quite draw before and making sure to make everything go in skinny sharpie so that it stands out. Even when using sharpie, make sure to go slowly and carefully so that you don't make any mistakes. You want to do a nice job making these people look like their picture. Watch and pause at this clip if you need a little bit of extra help drawing the hands on the steering wheel. One other thing I think is important to do is to use a thicker Sharpie to outline some things like the steering wheel, the car, the seat belts, and then keeping all the details of the portraits in skinny Sharpie. That's a great way to show contrast and make things stand out. You can use thick Sharpie over your hair if you have dark hair or if you have other darker things to fill in as well. Take your time and do your very best when tracing these photos for your double portrait. <laughs> 